Hi guys. I'm Rosh. And welcome back to Sinata Design. In this video, I will discuss some of the changes in Twinmotion 2023.1 Preview 2. When I was about to create content related to Twinmotion, I found that there were changes that had occurred in Twinmotion 2023.1 Preview 2. What? Okay, let's jump right into the discussion. First, we'll talk about the new interface. When you enter the Twinmotion interface, you will find drastic changes. When you enter for the first time, like the previous Twinmotion 2023 display, you will get a choice of templates that you can choose from. There is one architecture template and four product templates. But when you close the template options, you will see the changes. Here, you can see, this is how Twinmotion's newest interface looks like. On the left, there is the library window. Here there are no additional changes to the library, except for what I explained in the previous video, about the latest updates and features in Twinmotion 2023 Preview 1. You can see here, when we click on the library panel below, the library window will close. And if we click again, the library window will open. Next to the library icon, we can see that there is a statistics panel, and there it describes the current status of our PC. And we can open these two panels at the same time, so that later they will stack one on top of the other. Okay, now I just close the two panels on the left, and I'll discuss the panel on the right. On the right, there are four panels. Scene panel, properties panel, XYZ panel and view sets panel. Same as before, we can click on the panel to close the entire panel window. On the scene panel, we can see, there is information about our render work object. It is still the same as the previous feature. Next, we will try to look at the Properties panel. Here, when I click, the window opens in a blank state, I don't know its function yet, but we will try other functions so that we know the function of this panel later. The same as before, when we click Turn on the panels, then all the panels will stack on top of each other. Here we can see in the Properties there is an icon like a book which when we click it will shift the window to the side. On the XYZ panel, here we can get information about the object and the camera. And when we move the camera, the number notation will change. The same thing happens with objects. The last panel is view sets. Here I also still don't know what view sets work for. But the thing that came to my mind was related to the image on the media on the old interface. Here, you can also drag the window to enlarge or reduce the size of the window. Okay, now we're going to close all the panel windows on the right, and we're going to cover the tools that are at the top of the new Twinmotion interface. The tool on the far left is the Path Tracing tool. You can still use R on the keyboard as hotkeys. Here, when we click on the Path Tracing tool, the display that appears is still the same as the old display. The next tool is the Material Picker. Let's try to take one of the existing materials. Okay. This is the function of the Properties panel earlier. Here we can see, we get information about the material we have chosen earlier. Here, you can edit the material that you have taken. In the Properties setting, you can edit Color, UV, Roughness, Metallic and Miscellaneous. Okay, we continue to discuss the next tool. Here, there are three tools that are still the same as the old interface, there are the Move tool, Rotate tool,
and scale tool. And there is also a move with collision tool, gravity tool, toggle local tool, and pivot edit tool. To be honest, I rarely use other than the first three tools I mentioned earlier. Next, I will discuss about some of the panels under the center. The first is import panels. When you click import panel, a window will appear above it and it still has the same as the previous function. Next to it is the materials panel. And on the top left there is a plus sign to add your material. Next, there is the populate panel. Populate panel here, replaces the context in the previous interface. There are three tools in the populate panel. There are foliage, paths, and urban. When we click on the foliage, paint and scatter will appear. The function of both is still the same as the previous interface, functioning to fill the environment with plants or something else. Next, when we click on paths, various icons will appear, which serves to fill people, or vehicles, or we can do custom for both. Here I try to draw the character path, and additional settings will appear. You can choose the character type, clothing type, path width and density. Next, on the far right there is an urban tool. When we click it, a map will appear and we can take part of the map to download and put in the scene. This feature is still the same as in the old version of Twinmotion. When we finish downloading, the scene will immediately appear. And it still looks the same as the old version of Twinmotion. Next to the populate panel, there is the media panel. And when we click, then the window will open. And we can add the scene which we will prepare for rendering. In the properties section, a window will open to set various settings that we can change before we export the scene. As you can see here, there are several tool settings that we can change before we export the scene. There is an environment setting, where you can change the lighting and a few other changes. Then next, there are camera settings. Here, you can change the field of view settings, depth of field and camera effects. Next to the camera settings, we can adjust the render settings. Here, we can choose to use path tracer or real-time render. You can also choose the rendering quality and adjust some of the settings below. Next, there are FX settings. In the FX settings, you can adjust the color grading and clay rendering. The last setting is the image setting. In the image settings, you can set the image format that you will use for export later. Still the same as the image format feature on the old twin motion, you can adjust image settings from 2K to 16K. Okay, let's move on to the last panel which is the export panel. When you click the export panel, the properties window will open, here you can adjust some of the last settings starting from the image format to be exported, motion blur, refinement, max lighting, and 3D mode. Now, I will talk about other improvements. Now try to pay attention to this new twin motion. Is there anything different besides the interface? Now, we will try to activate the path tracer. And as you can see, there are improvements to the real-time scene. And if I turn off the path tracer again, 
then you will see that there is very little difference between the real-time scene and the path tracer scene. I don't know if it's too early to draw conclusions or not. However, I will make a content comparison between the real-time scene and the path tracer scene on Preview 2 Twin Motion 2023.1 in the next video. We continue to the next improvement found in the texture of the water material. As you can see here, when we replace the starting ground with water material, and we turn on the path tracer. Then we can see an improvement in the quality of the water rendering material in twin motion. If you look at the comparison of the texture of the water material in the thumbnail of the content that I uploaded, it can be seen that there is an increase in the quality of rendering water on the twin motion path tracer. But, again, this is still my personal opinion and I will make a comparison video in the future. So, if you have a different opinion, you can comment in the comments column below. Okay guys, that was a video about the latest interface update and other improvements to Twinmotion 2023.1 Preview 2. Please subscribe, comment, and like. And don't hesitate to give suggestions and criticisms so that I can develop even better in the future. See you in the next video. Ciao!